Yep, we have looked into it. It's two point six percent plus ten cents for every transaction. That's not bad. But I'm trying to. I'm waiting for a call back to figure out if we can tack that on. Find a way that that goes straight to Apple so it doesn't come out of our end because otherwise then we need to tack it on to each individual transaction so we're still getting the same amount each time. We could probably use Square to create invoices and it would just be the f on the invoice, the transaction fee of, and then they go into Square and pay the invoice. Correct. Right. Yeah, because even just thinking about it right now, like there's nothing on that form, the registration form off the top of my head that says how many days they're going to sign up for or what days, you know, full time, part time. So that we need to add. If you don't have your filters figured out, it's hard to put filters. It is, it is. But you can also just put like the amount for just yes. camp to plus, be yes, yeah. field trips to be determined. And, and then on the two like, days that I'm hoping to do those field trips, you know, I mean, yeah. There's still just so many unanswered stuff, and I'm still. Do you need help? Like, yeah. Could I mean I could take a little time to help you <laughs> nail it down if you. I need yeah. I just need input. I just you guys know I hate making decisions by myself. So I yes I need all of you. Please. I don't think Sherry has a problem making decisions, so I feel like <laughs> that's a good call. <laughs> Coming over. Um yeah. So that's what yes. Okay. Yep. All right, so we'll have to figure that out then. Yep. Whether or not you want to just like kind of, one of us will take it on and sidebar with you yes. and try to just get it down. Yep. Um, <clears throat> or unless you feel like it's important for all of us to be here, then we would have to have another, I feel like yep. we would have to have another meeting to yep. just focus on that. Yep. And then, um, all right, I'm going to write this down. Um, Field trips, yes. So I have started that, but it's and I know we again we talked about it a little bit, like the lake days when we wanted to have them, and I, but we need to yeah just nail that down too. You know, okay. what days we're doing the um, lake. And then do <clears throat> do we need to get approval from the selectmen to have <clears throat> the lake days go to Silver Lake? Okay. Yes. So we'll have yeah. to get that right. I mean, I think last time at our last meeting, we talked about like Tuesday and Thursday, Lake Day, yeah. and then like a possible Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, depending on it's. See, to me, and I don't know, Holly, I, I feel like maybe this is a question you could answer. Is like I feel like some of these places, it's up to them when it's easier for them to have us there. Not necessarily. If they're open and you call and say I want a group this day, so yeah, if they're open or not. Yeah. They don't okay. They're taking people. Yeah. They're taking your money. Right. Yeah, the water parks, all that stuff. Be prior, it was always on Fridays. Yep. Every Friday, they right. would do and the field trip. Right. to that, it was Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. There was a time when it was Wednesday field trips, and then it moved to Friday field trips. So. And what it is, um, the extended, is ESY, is that only, is that on Monday through Friday, or is Probably that happening this year? It's, yes. Okay. It's ESY, is Monday through Thursday, is the week after 4th of July. Okay, that's why I yeah, feel eight. like Mike we did it on Fridays. Yeah. That's why I feel like he may have moved it to Fridays. Mm -hmm. Possibly. I could yeah. be wrong, but I think that might be. Okay. <clears throat> um, and on those same lines, another thing that's kind of holding me back is school availability. Um, I have talked to Holly and Heather about it. They are letting me know as soon as they know. <laughs> it's like, yeah, who knows? Um, and I'm trying not yeah, to plan on the, the school. Right. What's going on in the gym, the air handler, and that. We, we don't have guidelines. Right. So if that's the case, is there is it a possibility to, um, like, use the art room? That, that would be a discussion once we get this line. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. Right. And then that's previously we talked about trying to find out our shelter at the field. Right for when you can't right. have. We definitely school. need a better shelter anyway. Yeah. I feel like no matter what, it'd be nice to have like a event tent at the field. <coughs> you gotta get them for the everything. Yeah. I mean the whole the whole summer, everybody could use it. It's not just a rec thing; it'd be a town thing, and we need it for shade anyway. Um, rain. 
because I mean again, like it, depending on when the school closes, could it be mid July? Could it be the end of June? Should we start camp later? Should we end camp earlier? I'm just trying to make it easier for everybody, but there's still so many. So we got old home week. We know when old home week is yep. during that first weekend. Yep. What other activities do you know are going on at the ball field this summer? The men, just, just the men's. Intensely, but that's always at night. Okay. Yeah. yeah that and their tournament usually... is after summer camp is over. So. Yeah. And there any it's repairs or weekend. anything going on? The intent is to do the infield, but it's all volunteer work. So my assumption is it'll happen on a Saturday. Okay. And the lower or upper? Oh. If you ask me, I'd like to do both, but we're going to start with the lower and see where we get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be nice, like that little, like the little green coverage, whatever that thing is out there. It's small, mm -hmm. but it'd be nice to have a bigger one of those and have tables underneath it. Well, I know Mike is still working on the pavilion, the old home week pavilion, which will have a, I want to say it's 30 by 20 covered picnic table area, but that's, I mean, none of that's going to happen real quick. That was my next question. And one more thing, Holly, do you know if there's like a deadline for them to decide? Yes, they have to spend money, I believe, September 30th or August 30th. That money has to be spent, so it's going to happen. The Everything's in yeah. the works. The electrician's done some of the work. It's definitely, everything's been matter can get stuff but yeah yes there is a deadline okay it's summer okay right yeah, yeah. and it, yeah, it was the end of summer at the last school board meeting Heather said she had a deadline of August 30th yes, with the payment August. needed to be made at September okay. 30th so it's I mean it's you could happen at any point during the summer I don't think you should let it hinder us trying to get something done no, I think you should make your schedule make your schedule and adjust later yeah okay you just have to I'm, they've Worked great with us. I'm sure they'll help. Oh, yeah. The library yeah. or whatever, different rooms. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we have the chick room, we have this room. Yeah. They'll work oh, yeah. with us. We, yeah, I'm sure we can do something. Just later. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Swim lessons. Yeah. Wait, one more thing. First Swim lessons. lessons. <laughs> the oh, CIT yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Are we like 100%? doing that when are we gonna <clears throat> we put it out it. there so that yep. kids can yep. write their little mm -hmm. essay thing mm -hmm. you're gonna put when and how do you want to advertise or ask for input because I was afraid to put anything online because I didn't know if that was what we wanted to do or not so do you want me to put it on the middle school page that we have going on do you want us to talk to the other middle schoolers and parents to see what kids are interested like where are we, where are you at on that I think we could make a flyer like we normally do okay yeah. and put it on the rec page first okay and then advertise we'll share it to middle school that's what I would think I put it in the handbook already so I kind of felt like in my head it's done <laughs> nope not. I had seven <coughs> kids at teen night show interest. Yep. And then a mom messaged me and asked for all of the um, information that I said we just do not have at this time. Mm -hmm. We were literally just aging interest. So that's the yeah. only update I have on that. I think we need to nail down though how many we we need. There were still lots of yeah. I feel like we still I don't have lots think of opens. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I think that I feel like you guys know many. that you want. I That's what I'm worried about. I don't about think too. you are. If you want four a day, and even if each kid only gets two days a week, mm -hmm. I don't think you're going to have more than twelve kids that are going to. I really don't. We had seven that showed interest at teen night, and we had thirty kids that showed up at teen night. And out of the seven that showed interest. I don't even know if half of them would follow through with their even filling out an essay to show that they were that interested. Mm -hmm. And then I went through, I tried to go through the other seventh graders in my head, and I'm like, I know this one's doing this camp, this one's doing this camp, this one's with dad for the summer. Like, I don't, right. I don't think you guys are going to, I mean, we only had 20, 
seven seventh graders, I think the number was, 24 or 27. Okay. All together for Madison? Yeah, so I guess we'll just have to see who applies. And, well, I say. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. The, the strongest two that showed the most serious interest at this point are our two children. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I know Micah is going to fill an essay. Um, he He's does have some stuff. He has two weeks of two different camps. Um, so, like, are we creating an application for them, a separate well, application? I, I think I you think should. we have to because of just because they're still going to have to fill out all the liability forms and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Um, but just submit, you know, something simple, and and Can definitely awesome. maybe we could make it like kind of like this like you know they put their name and <clears throat> information then down here is a little box and that's mm -hmm. where they can do their I think that will also essay. help them see like oh this is real, a real this thing. is serious right. this isn't like a, oh this sounds fun I'm gonna go for a day and then be like yeah. you know what mom I don't want to wake up anymore I'm just, <laughs> yeah I'm sleep my summer away so yeah that, that could be that could be as easy as a Google form because kids yeah. are so used to working on their laptops at school. Sure are. Yeah, and yeah. they can just submit it. Yep. Submit. And then we tossed around interviews. Mm -hmm. Well, we were going to look at the essays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So they so we need to create not. an application, <coughs> have them fill that out. They need to write an essay. Should be part of the application. Mm hmm And then we'll go from there. Yeah. Okay. And at this point, kids are needed during the summer camp hours days kind of are flexible, right? Mm -hmm. They so should write what days, like if yes. there are days that they absolutely can or cannot do, so that we know that if we do end up with like, oh, we have 10 kids, how are we gonna, mm -hmm. you and know, do you do, want is there a week that you have a family vacation? These are all things that we're gonna want to know. And do you want them on field trips or not? Mm -hmm. Well, I think we should a lot. I think that would be Kind of a bummer for them if they True. don't get to. <laughs> yeah, that's just a bonus. That. Well, yeah, bonus that's for that's them. the whole point of our week is yeah. to be on stuff, yeah. doing yeah. stuff. Yeah. Whether it's a lake day, which is two out of five, hopefully. Yeah. And then a field trip is, yeah. Okay. So that's three out of five days that we're doing something. <clears throat> Um, back to ESY for a minute. So are those parents going to be responsible to bring their child to wherever we are if they want to sign up? Like say we're at the lake on Tuesday and it's ESY. So they have, right, it's their responsibility to bring them What did you guys do last to year? To the lake. Well, we were at the school. We didn't go anywhere. Right. <laughs> so we just stayed there and we walked we down the hall. We didn't leave. Yeah. Well, I guess they have to pick them up no matter what. So it really should be there. You didn't leave during there. ESY? Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday, we stay at the school or at the field. So they didn't like have a Friday, they so we picked them up. Picked them up. Picked them up. Oh. Friday was our only day that we left. So that's a big change with, when it comes to that. So you either encumber the money to bus. If you're at the beach, the bus comes back, picks up those kids, brings them to the bus, or the parents. What time does ESY go to? I would want the parents to do it just yeah, so that there's right. no and question. They're in charge of their kids. And I wonder what the price difference would be. And what if it's going to be double because it's the it's a double, it's a double trip. On a, field trip. on a Wednesday. Yeah, I don't think or we should Monday. do that. Yeah, I think it should be parent responsibility. I think that's going to be really tough for parents. Yeah, what if they're paying for summer camp as kind of like child care? How many? Work, how many? Right? We only had two kids. Work kid. We last had two okay. last year. One of which was mine. <laughs> right. So it's not a huge group that we're talking about. It's also back in twenty one C day. It was in Richmond. Yeah. There was a big crowd. It, was it a wasn't group. just yeah. ESY. It was a summer program to help. Anyone. Yeah, there are a lot so of kids. So there was a bigger number. Yeah. Yeah. And we're not allowed to drive them, right? I wouldn't think so. I mean, if you get parent permission if you, liability. If you got, yeah. That's what I'm wondering, if one person can go. If there's but not going to be that if many. If we're, like, at Storyland on a Wednesday, oh. 
we, we wouldn't be able to do that. Right. Well, well I guess no, yeah, they would have to. They would maybe the that would day. be apparent. <clears throat> That's why I think we probably should try to do Fridays for the field trips. Keep it with Fridays for field trips. Yeah. And do still Tuesday, like the yeah, two late days. Yeah. yeah. It's worked well in the past with the Tuesday and Thursday late like days. 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 Extended school year. Huge yeah. Right. It was Friday. awesome. And if sure. there's, if this is a small enough Monday through Thursday. That, yeah. that if there's three kids so there, I'm sure they can get together and say, one parent do this this yep. day. Share, you right, to share their we responsibility. Do it all the time. Yep. Okay. Yep. I wouldn't concern yourself with that. Yeah. So do you but want when it comes to a field trip, that's where it gets concerning. So a Friday. So it's only yeah, Fridays. Yeah. Okay. Right. That will yes, help us make a decision, though, that we were wondering about earlier. And also on the summer Friday. And also sometimes, you know, family takes a long weekend and right. to travel. Well, that's why we thought, like, Monday would be a good option, too. Remember when I was talking about that last time, that if it was, it wouldn't be cheaper. <laughs> but I think Fridays are good, because, you know. Yeah. But do, yeah. Would you think about doing late days on Monday and Wednesday? Yeah. And then Friday. I don't think it could be. Like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Trip, yeah. And then Tuesday and Thursday. It could be the stay day. Yeah. I mean, not, not yeah, no, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, all right. I mean, we just gotta that's, decide. That, that sounds good. I, mean, I think do so. Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Friday. Wednesday, Friday. Yep. Yeah. That way you're not going like double days. Mm -hmm. Monday, Monday, Wednesday are probably going to be the least busy days at the lake anyway. Yeah. Mm. All right. It's all right. official. Monday, 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 Wednesday, Lake Day. Friday field trips. Friday field trip. Done. All right. We made it and then if it rains on like Monday, are we just gonna cancel the beach day? Or you're just gonna swim in the rain for like swim in the rain. I think we're going. There's a gazebo we've, down there. There's a the gazebo down there. I know, but last year we had a lot of thunderstorms. Well, we had to cancel a couple times. Thunderstorms are different. Yeah, just thunderstorms rain. are different. Yeah. Kids Bring love to swim in the rain. I had our bus driver's yeah, cell phone number, and he was there within 15 to 20 minutes. And I know the neighbors across the street. I was gonna say, <laughs> you know she brought us popsicles last year. Can we bring our four kids over to your house? How many house do you have? I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you have enough boxes. Or you can but trudge down the road to my house. <laughs> okay. Call a lift. <laughs> it is like three quarters of a mile, so I don't know if I'm. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's go to swim lessons. The girl that um, was hopefully was going to apply to be a counselor um, that was interested in teaching swimming lessons. Um, swimming lesson training is um, the week that we start summer camp. Oh, uh, okay. So that's a, a, a glitch there. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Okay. And and she just wouldn't be able to help us either if she was hired that week because it's like a full time every yeah. day that week but it's I think it's worth it I mean enough people have showed interest they'll be yep. happy to have us do it I think that I think that we should do it and then like I have uh, been talking to her about it again she hasn't hired yet but just going over things with her and she um, I'd like her to just offer it to the rec kids because she's also hopefully going to be our counselor also during that time period. So I don't want her teaching other kids if she's under, you know. So um, Did you mention it wouldn't that to be her? open to the town. It would just be the red kids getting this extra special. Would they pay for it? <coughs> That's neat. Swimming lessons included in summer camp. Does she need a dock that okay, comes that out means your from summer the beach? enrollment just skyrocketed. Does she need a dock that comes out from the beach for the children to learn? No. Okay. I don't. She didn't mention that. No. Okay. I never did. That. Yeah. I, I, do every time I've been there, they haven't done it. Yeah. There's one. Oh, that side's not. It's yeah. rocky over there. But there is one over Could there. Could they use and that? I think is that a boat? Where, a boat launch. <laughs> I'm not going to look at the camera so. and make that face, it's but outside the area. <laughs> and it, yes, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. I'm not gonna look at my camera. <laughs> kids, I swam outside the buoys my whole life. Oh yeah. Still we can do. tell. Madison kids will too. <laughs> but um and that dock wasn't in last year. That's because it's broken, but we have money in the budget should it pass to buy a new one. Okay. So 
what days would swimming be? Would so it'd be? be her part-time schedule, if mm -hmm. again, if she gets hired. Um, but she is interested, she's applying, whatever. Um, she's hoping for more of a part-time schedule. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But would swim lessons be during her part-time schedule or they would be kind during, of after her counselor? During our like, whistle is on lake day. She would be a counselor Monday that also... Morning. What's that? Monday, Wednesday mornings, right? Monday, Wednesday mornings. Yeah, it'd be Monday, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And she'd probably split them up by group and... And I figured, like, between the four counselors that are there, she would just rotate those groups that those four people, you know, the mm -hmm. three of yeah. them. Yeah. So yeah. she'd always have the, her same amount. They would just be different kids. Mm -hmm. So That sounds good. I um, am hoping we can pay for her certification. We have that in the budget. Because it's, so a rec, yeah. it's yep. rec kids that are, you know. Yep. Um, yeah. Okay. What else? Actually... Thought-wise, we had enough in the budget for a separate swim counselor and the budget for a lifeguard just in case. So I don't know if we need a lifeguard to do swim lessons, we should check. Um, but also, could this swim instructor come out of the swim instructor budget or the summer camp counselor budget? I mean, we can mix and mingle that money yes. to all we want. So if we want to move some money from the idea. swim lesson line awesome. to the counselor line, we can. Yeah, yeah. so that, that we use it. Yeah, that yeah. you're able to, like yeah. that is specific to swim instructing, but a counselor you could use. We can pay her out of the swim instructor line until it's exhausted and then move it to the counselor line. Or use the, the I think the, the swim instructor line, you know, I'd have to go back and check. Yeah, I think you're right. We so would want to do summer it. camp okay. kids only. And Kenya, definitely, it was Primex, right, that we would have to check with about having a lifeguard? I don't think you would need a lifeguard if you're just doing lessons during summer camp, because we didn't need a lifeguard Actually, to take them to the lake, and all she's doing is lifeguard. teaching them how to swim. Yeah, and you know what, I think we checked with Linda last year about Primex, yeah. and I, she gave me the number, and I spoke with someone, and if I'll go back and double-check my notes, but I don't think we do need a lifeguard, I don't think. No, okay. I can't imagine them requiring a lifeguard. We take them to the lake anyway. Right. And she's just gonna teach them how to be better at the lake, so okay. I think we're good. It's not her doing a separate program. Yeah. No difference in doing crafts. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. So that again is has some moving pieces to it, but it sounds like it will all kind of just work out. Good with me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Giving so those. vacation camps, February was a success. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. The agenda says it. That's what my agenda says. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. This is it was. This is literally Joy speaking here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, actually it was. It, it was, was awesome. I mean it's sad that I couldn't make it, that I got really sick. <laughs> But no, ever all the kids awesome. loved it they from what I hear. Yeah, so. we had a great time. How many did yep. you have? <clears throat> How many did you have each day? How many Heather? did you have? Participate. Fifteen, twenty. Ah, uh, okay. Big kids was thir I Feel like it was like Smaller thirteen. Number, yeah, it was yeah, like thirteen, and then the littles were definitely more. It was like double. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Almost yeah, I feel 30. like twenty-five. Wow. Twenty-eight. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Good. And did you feel like um, anybody was, was there any donations or anything like that? Yes, we did have a donation um, on the big kids day. There was a mom that paid for, yeah. So she already paid because we had all the families pay ahead of time on their own, which made life a lot easier. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, she sent us another check with him too, which I've already nice. put in. Good. So, yeah. Nice. In April, <coughs> are we going to do anything in April? I wouldn't mind. You what guys might not be around, right? <laughs> Maybe we don't have enough money to not be around. Right. 
Okay. Will we, we have a bus? We could pass. We have a bus. That's why you need to go. Oh, that was exciting. Smitty's. Oh, yeah, I knew we were going to say that. They do something for the, they do discounts for the rats. Not for the axe throwing. I could, but I don't want to. Well, I don't want the kids throwing axes. That's why I did it. There's axe throwing there? Yes. Oh, I've never been. They took out the little. Can you picture Hayden with an axe? Come on. You talking about the axe throwing? I was so excited to go by there. I was like, and he's yeah. like, what? Like, oh, yeah, honey, we're going. Guys, what is yeah. Smitty's? Oh, it's a in Tilton? driving range. Oh, Smitty's in Tilton. Just I thought we were talking me. about Smitty's in a... Just here reminded on me. Here on Philosophy. Even wants to go Isn't it? Oh, now it's Bucket of Balls. They changed you. it. It used to be so new. So it's in Tilton, balls. and it is what? what? She's like, it's okay. a... Um, so they have like a... Who's they have a game center, like it's called their game lab, and you can play all kinds of games, and they do a discount for rec departments. Um, but they also have like a movie theater with like reclining seats, and they serve you and all that. Okay. I don't know if they do a discount for that, but just a thought, like that might be fun. That's a great. It's a great thought because you could do more than one thing. I think the game lab was like twelve dollars for. Unlimited games. Wow. But, like, you don't get any tickets, you know? Like, but you just... I think that's what the... And then I forget how much the... I think the movie is the movie A Drink and Popcorn. Oh. Um, wow. So, I don't know. It's just a thought. And I was thinking mini golf would be fun. Oh. Do you well, think they're going to be open? I the white, so. The White Lake right. Speedway place, not. even though it's These small, they'll give us a discount. He said I had a call him to talk to him about discounts for rec stuff, but he was willing to do stuff. I mean, I know it's not the newest or most updated spot, but there's Laser Tag and Mini Golf. Where is that? The one right here in 16. White Lake. White Lake. I yeah, they have that. a... Um, the laser tag is The so laser fun. tag. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he's happy to talk to us and do a discount and stuff. Yep, yeah, and he has added, he took out, I think, the gaming station, or he, he expanded, because I think the canoe place, the it's, canoe rentals, whatever, were closing, things. so he was yeah. taking over more of the building, and okay. he, was adding, he added a bunch of yeah, things. Yeah, he's planning <coughs> on doing some upgrades. Yep. There's we always Fun also, Spot, too. Oh, yeah, Fun mm-hmm. Spot. But, um, if I did a birthday a party for first graders at Fun Spot. Great. Don't do it. It's Get air. You would need a... Mm-hmm. Get we air. would need a lot of supervisors for fun spot. Yep. I, uh, get you. Air is going to be insane on a vacation week. Just okay. so you know. Oh yeah. yeah. What about going? Just taking them to go see to go to Ryan's. Oof. No. No. Because he spent twenty dollars. It's really five expensive. Is it bowling. bowling. Yeah. Uh, or the aquarium. Yep. Bowling, bowling or the yeah. aquarium. Okay. So. Double bowl, man. Bowling. I want to go to the aquarium. Uh, cool. City's bowling aquarium. Double bowl. Oh. They have laser tag. Arcade you could eat spaghetti Where? and look at Dolan it fish. Bowl. Bowling aquarium. You said Ospi. It's great. They had the bowling and the arcade. What else did they have? Listen, Laser I'm not going to volunteer this time. Because whenever I'm around kids, I get sick. So <laughs> we got to build you up. I know. A little bit each time. Working from home kills me. As soon as I go out, I'm, I'm like... <clears throat> um, I won't be here anyways, so... I'll be okay. gone. So what's the steps to figure out to nail that down then? Since this is really our only time before hand to really put anything into play. How does, how does it go? Do we, does somebody make phone calls and get prices and then shoot it out in an email to everybody as to what will cost what? Um, Heather can go to informational to the committee, interactive with Heather. Like the committee cannot interact. So would you like email, me to gather so. some pricing on Smitty's Bowling, the Aquarium, and Dover Bowl, and I send it over it. to your email? Sure. Are we talking about the Aquarium and like Intermail? Yeah. I don't, I don't. The Living Shores up there? Or? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I just takes a solid that's what ten minutes to walk through. I I, know, I spent like twelve. Don't they have yeah. birds that <laughs> sit on you and you can? I mean, it is. They do. Even cool, more reason to but, not go. Like, don't they have spaghetti? The littles, the littles would love it, but yes, it is very very quick. Fine. Don't do the aquarium. It depends on how long you sit there with your hand in that little tank with all the fish. We shit. are a different week from Which now. Which they can sit there for a long time. The state line <laughs> Which is also how you I don't know if I'd want to be on a bus with them that long. Because they don't yeah. clean the tank. <laughs> <laughs> is there a new? I don't know how the bus drivers do it in general for that long. There's saints in my heart. Isn't there like a science museum in Portland? I've heard there. <gasps> it's good. gone. Oh. It went out a few right. years ago. Portland Science Center. Wow. It was very, very small though. Don't forget okay. the right museum. I was just going to say kids. 
the um, kids oh, museum, the kids it. children's museum in Portland. Also yeah, that's not, big. Not huge. I think it was huge the last time I went, but I think they may have moved. The building looks big. Yeah. You're writing all those down. They moved. Okay. Right, they moved. Um, but probably not for older kids. I don't think right, the children's, so you're that children's museum would be older kids. For that, for now. That okay. What yeah. days do we want to do? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that up to ask what kind of pricing they'll give us okay. on which kind of days. Okay. I mean, anything that we were to go into, I know that Mass is a ride depending on where we're going, mm -hmm. but it would be dead because they're not on vacation the same week. That's true. So you February may, you, they you, are, you, April they're correct. not. So you is get Portland good, on the same? But then in, if you're driving in and out of Boston during a regular not, non vacation. Not Boston. Oh, okay. Just Mass. Okay, yeah, because Boston would still be chaos if no, it's not April's vacation. come a long way. I'm trying to think of what else. April? There's, there's stuff. I'll think. Um, so, so but we would probably want to get that nailed down like mm -hmm. quickly so we can get the. I can ask Miss Jackie again. Well, it sounds She's like available. Megan has it under control. Yes. I would leave it to Megan and Heather. Yep. Yeah, Just okay. let them do Thank it. You, Megan. If they, if All right. you need I'll help, ask people. Okay. To be there. And two days again, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like splitting up the age groups worked. That was awesome. Very well. Okay. And you can probably reach out to Jackie and Courtney again and see mm -hmm. if they want to work it. <laughs> if we didn't split we the age, at the same we, time, didn't we? If we had change. the ability and the field trip made sense to not split up the age group, it might be a good time to see how the children that are applying for the CIT program interact with all of these children mm -hmm. yeah, on trip. a field trip. Because we will have all of their CIT applications by the time April vacation rolls around. So it might be a good little low key trial run. Mm -hmm. Depending on and the location. You just reminded me. So if you have a good wording for me to, um, well, we'll make a flyer, right, for this, for the back to the CITs for a second. Yeah. Make a flyer for the CITs, mm -hmm. and we'll put something on Facebook too to get that ball rolling, like mm -hmm. ASAP. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Not good with wording. Courtney's my warder. Yeah, Courtney's great. She's yes. my go-to. She texts me when I'm in bed. Thank you. I know it's late, but can you write something for me? Sincerely, like Heather O'Donnell. <laughs> yeah, I'll write it at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> right, with my coffee. Right. Mm -hmm. I do my best work in the morning. Okay. Okay. Okay, got it. So we got that spring sports, softball, and yeah. t-ball. Yeah. Uh, have Ready those go. closed? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. How many kids need? Oh, I got one more today. That one, I'll, I'll sign her up. <laughs> Can't say no. Um, I have to respond to her. Um, there's 20 t-ball. Two wow. teams, red right and black. And you have um, coaches? Two coaches, one each Six. team. What about softball? Softball, one coach. She's okay with it. How many Somebody signed, signed up? up? How many signed what? up for softball? Softball, God. 14. I've been so big. Oh, look at that. Hey, if you're saying you're adding one, there was 13. That's good. Who's coaching this year? Interesting. Oh, Miss wow. Samuel. Lots of interesting text messages. Herself. Sorry about that, people. Uh, yeah, I knew she was going to. Sarah. Yeah. Did what? either person. Sarah DiMartino said she would assist. help. No, no. But she's very busy, so. Sarah. Yeah, DiMartino. She said she would help on Tuesdays. She's a busy lady. Yeah. No, neither one of them. And I did just get an email from Sarah 14. this morning about getting the KMS PTO going again. Okay. Because <laughs> you said her. I'm on it. <laughs> sure. Well, I think we have to have something for... We have, our, we have the we eighth have graders who are graduating. Okay. And I have a sponsor for T-Ball. Okay. I, would, I was interested in getting a sponsor for softball. Um, but I mean, I always do T-shirts. If you guys have anything else you'd like, you think they would rather have, then um, we're going up to for need suggestions. more advisors. Okay. Because we let them keep them last year. For softball. For softball. Why'd you let them keep them? Yeah, that's what we should. You should. <laughs> yes. You over. You changed your fees from zero to thirty-five. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yet you just said you had sponsors. What's the thirty-five dollars for? Equipment. But you yeah. had that in the budget. Yes, we're trying All to. All these years you've had that in the budget for equipment, and now you're charging everybody 35 bucks, and you're going to get sponsors for t-shirts. 
what's the money for? The money is for equipment because we're trying to counteract the budget for the taxpayer. So all the money for the fees that's covered all this for years. Because we're trying to make it so that all of the taxpayers aren't paying for the few that use our program. So the money's in the budget, the money that we get for the fees goes back into the general fund and then is used to reduce taxes in the fall so that it offsets our budget. Do they keep the t shirts? Yes. Oh yeah. But they've kept the t shirts in the past. Mm -hmm. For zero. Right. I find this a very huge from zero to 35. We did um, do some research though in like every other rep committee around us does charge. Zero to 35 is a pretty big jump. Could have went five, could have went 10, could have went 20. Well, we debated that on the T ball. Yeah. Just a question. I don't think, still don't think it's very high. I mean, Cal Ripken charges $60 a kid, and they don't even get to keep the shirts. She don't even count Cal but it's the same do purpose. They, I mean, I don't, what, is, what look? if I don't want a t-shirt next year? My shirt still fits. Do I get a discount? Do you have accountability for people who are free to use lunch? Is there any kind of scholarship? There's... We've always worked with... I don't know if we put it on the application. I don't remember, but... <clears throat> we've no, always worked with families if they couldn't. But you have to have a system. Have to have a set procedure for that. You can't just go, oh, yeah, you're good, do it. It's got to be some sort of criteria. Right. Okay. Otherwise, it looks not transparent. It looks right. fishy if you're like, oh, sure, you're fine. Right. Um, an application, anything. So, matter, but something. I, I agree. We, we could, and I think we this would be easy, is we could put on the application, do you receive free or reduced lunch? And then. If so, they would. That that could be something. We obviously we can't decide here today, but I think we should put it on next agenda. Mm -hmm. It'd be worth asking if you want to verify that. You need to have a question on there saying, "Do we have permission to verify this with the food service director of Mass Elementary School?" If you're just going to take the word for it, go for it. But if you want to actually verify. I don't think we need to verify. There needs to be a question. I don't know that you need to. Um, yeah, I don't think we. Do you guys think we need to verify? Well, I think I feel like I feel like we we don't because we have so many people that work in the school, but that may already know. But I also wouldn't want to go under the assumption right. that we right. 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 Well, right. So I think that we should just verify. And all I'm saying is, you just need a caveat on there. We have permission to verify. Right. Okay. And then it's okay. If you don't put that in there, Janet can't answer. What if we were to add something on the ad that states that if you have are having trouble paying the thirty five dollars to just see Heather, contact, just contact, contact us. us. What if but like you know what I mean? Just to kind of make it just see. We have that on the summer rec, summer camp, mm -hmm. but I guess we didn't think to put it on. So we, um, yeah. We can always, all the kids are now on sports engine. We can just send a message mm -hmm. and say, if you're having trouble with the fee, please reach out. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I think you did. Because of the fee, they put it now. So you just don't want to exclude somebody. Yeah. Else. I thought you put it in the application or the, the, the sign up. I don't think I was that specific. Okay. I was kind of waiting for people that they, yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, I just feel like people would know that. I know we should someone. say it, but. Yeah. But another thing in this day and age, everybody the, knows if they need help, they can reach out. Yeah. yeah. But, but you, yes, don't, you don't right. want we those people it. that don't just say if they don't sign up because they feel like that. You don't want them feeling like that. But another thing with fees, too, is that it helps the rec become self-sustaining and yeah. not rely on on stuff. Um, but it also... Are you, huh? there, are you going to be self-sustaining and not taxpayer supported? Long-term uh, goals. Longer. More self-sustaining. Well, so so last year our budget was thirty-one thousand mm -hmm. um, dollars, and we brought in. Right. Think, so why do you need fees if you had a budget of this and you brought in that? Why do you need fees? Well, how will we ever get it like a rec building? Because it, so the rec periodically has died, right? Mm -hmm. It's cyclical. Mm -hmm. It's periodically died, um, and I think I don't know the full history. Um, we only participated in the last one, 
Um, I think it's because it wasn't self-sustaining. Because... But I think if you expect this money to be a rec building leader, just be transparent about it. I don't... Yeah. Just be transparent about it. That, this is that actually money. hasn't come up in any of the conversations. Well, I just said it. Oh. I totally missed it. No, that we haven't, that hasn't, that wasn't part of any of the conversations. If that money is it. to build a fund of some sort to use for different things. Well, the, the fees are going into the general fund to offset our budget, just like the, the dump collects fees when you go there to dump trash or any of those things. But it's, <laughs> it's the same thing. You have a service, not everybody uses it, yeah. so the people that do use it pay for it. Pay it's for it. Yeah. It's just zero to 35. It's still cheaper than Bartlett. This also excludes, Bartlett. obviously, yeah. what everybody else does. T-ball, but we also like to compensate our coaches at the end of every season, which we like to put a lot into because they do a lot for us and we don't pay them. That's, that's fine. Just be transparent. League about fees, all of that. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, and another thing was digging up the field and we got to upkeep the field and. But that's not rec budget. That's uh, Parks and Rec. That's DPW Parks and Rec. It's no, it's not even that. That's the ETF for the field maintenance account. Yeah. It's yeah. its own thing. Yeah. But um, then there's. I'm trying to think what I wrote on that. But it was with the goal of well, one of the goals, or a few things, but to try to be self sustaining. And like the New Hampshire um, Rec Association had. Um, a conference, I think they do it annually, and it's how to be a self-sustaining rec. How you, you know, try not to rely on town budget and donations, and you know, try to have a multifaceted income approach. You know, whether it's fees plus budget plus donations plus volunteers, to try to not have to rely on any one thing to be sustainable. So I think it's a great long term. That's point. part of it. Did we do right? the same price for table? Yeah, we did. I do think that's a little expensive. Well, well, we did it across the board because if you try to change it for every sport, then we got to have another public hearing. It needs to be posted upstairs. So then we got twenty-five for t-ball, thirty-five for softball, twenty for soccer. And just think about like how many days go into like how many well, coaches we have to have, how many days go into all of the other sports. Right. So think they about get a lot more out of it. This is really the only sport the with littles, though. I'm sorry, Courtney. I'm gonna cut you off. No, you're good. Okay. Um, this is the only sport with littles. Right? Every other sport we do is really the older kids who are there. Ba basketball. Oh, true. Yeah, but that's K through three. Right. The T-ball is under, is not like kindergarten. Three, three it's, well, five. three to five. It's like preschool age, basically. It's outside preschool. of school. So, um, what did I, write? I think it felt weird to everybody. And it wasn't necessarily, we didn't quite think that one through, you know, like when we talked about it. Yeah. So... I don't think that anybody has had a problem with it. I'm sure they have I said the fees. <laughs> <laughs> on the That's not what I'm saying. Zero I just... to 35, it just seemed like... I well, we know. did it. Uh, Heather and I at one point where I we were like... I definitely said something. Yeah. Yeah. Like my daughter who's registering the people goes, yeah, I don't care about it. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing for everybody. No, but you brought up a lot of good points. No, it is. Yeah. Well, especially if it's T-ball and the kids and you guys have already accepted the money and maybe now there's some thought that maybe it's a bit much, then give the kids snacks. Yeah. <laughs> What I said was for. I guess that's my question. What's it for? On the registration form, I said thank you for participating in in town of Madison recreation, sports programs and activities. In order to continue our programs, we need to incur. We we agreed. We I think I fixed it on the T-ball one. Anyway, um, a small fee of thirty-five for resident players and forty-five for non-resident players. The fee is designed to cover expenses associated with uniforms, equipment and program slash league fees. So right. for T-ball it may so be a little bit much because right. it's just balls which get ruined every year and coaches compensation whether it be sweatshirts or things like that. But We're also going to be, oh yeah, we're going to be selling stuff. Yeah, so, so think about what we'd want the fees to look like, not for preschool, only for, you know, and we can specify which programs it's for. And then just the next <coughs> public hearing throw it in. Even, okay. even if you took that description and said, and to build our account for future, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Just add Endeavors. a little something else up. I had some good wording. <laughs> I had some good I wording. I asked each of you privately, you and you each anything? gave me a little blurb, and I put it all together. No, I agree. <laughs> I think it's so hard, because we get really stuck between a rock and a hard place. 
last year, I remember at the town meeting, like, I don't think anybody thought the rec would grow the way it has. And I, for one, will say, I, and I know 100% that everybody else sitting at this table has spent a lot of their own money mm -hmm. on equipment and, and stuff for all of our events and all of our time. Like, this is... Donuts. <clears throat> yeah. This is who... Whatever the kids And uh, our time, like just, you know, the volunteering. So I think yeah. for the program to be self-sustaining would be, to just keep building would be nice. Yeah. <clears throat> what is the good wording, though, that I need to add? Seriously. Oh, I can look it up or resend you. I, well, yeah, no. Just, yeah, to add that, that, that in there that it's for we want to build our programs, and else. like to build yeah. the future. For the growth of Madison Rec. Not just t-shirt and shirt, because Grow. you get sponsors for that. Grow. Or, or to add on and build the rec program in any future builders. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll let you guys do that. <clears throat> and let's go on to, unless we have anything else for some, okay. Events. Extravaganza. Yeah. All right, found it. We recognize that these are financially challenging times for families, but small fees help build a self-sustaining rec program in Madison, less dependent upon town budget and donations, with each program supported by its participants. Send that to Heather. We that was vetoed to... as overly, overly wordy. Me being overly wordy? I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I was going to mess with her too. Okay. It's a, it's a fantastic oh, explanation. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm fine with being worth with being well right Sherry's very good. This is not an instance where Sherry did that, but Sherry's very My good. eyes twitching. I was right gonna now. say she's shaking right now. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you, Travaganza. Travaganza. Um community market is donating again, correct? Oh, yeah. we, so last year they donated six boxes of pancake mix. We used three. We have three unopened boxes upstairs still, okay. so they're not giving us pancakes. They're okay. giving us two gallons of orange juice and a case of eggs. And if we need more eggs, we can always go see him. Like, so he's going to have an extra two cases on hand for that day. Okay. Okay. The reason is because um, Todd wanted to know, wanted to talk to someone that knew how much we had left. So and I asked, was apparently the only one who knew. He asked Adam for Adam's phone number, so I gave it to him. Go ahead. I did. Um, yeah. I went to Walmart to get <laughs> donations, mm -hmm. which has changed like every time that I've gone in there. And now they want um, <clears throat> a written thing with a letterhead <laughs> from us. So now I have to go. Do all this extra really stuff to get donations. ID number two. I gave them all of that. They have all. Of so our what do they give you for a donation anyway? Is it really worth it? It's hundred dollars. It's yeah. worth oh, okay. it. I thought it was like ten percent off or something. Oh, it sounds like they just the want basket? something with the town yeah. of Madison letterhead yeah. saying we're seeking donation they for need, our like, Madison Rec Easter event. Yeah. And it's, that's sometimes, sometimes they want like, the Madison. employer identification number. They have that already. Okay. On five. They have okay. everything. Okay. The last like two times I've gone in, it's like I've just had to go in and ask for so, the same person, and they just look in our book and they're like, "Yep, yeah, here you go." If that's something this we can time, do, though. Not Linda. It changed again. Linda, if you have the letter home. We well, we just. <coughs> Are you? We can use the Madison Recreation yeah, letterhead. Yeah, the logo. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's all we use. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get we'll do that. Do you want me to do that? <laughs> Yep, she yes. does. Just say sure. yes, yep. please. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> yes. It's hard. Thank you. So yes. I will get it. I will print it out. Heidi's going to do something. <laughs> Stop it. Wow. <laughs> That's the last time you run up tea night with donuts and dodgeball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that it wasn't even supposed to do. Right? Where were your kids? You did great. I don't they know. They weren't old enough. Right. They were at my house when I was sick. Oh, yeah. guys. My <laughs> stomach's crumbling here. I did forget. Um, we ordered a bunch of stuff. <laughs> as in, I sent it to Heather, and she ordered it, and things are arriving. Yes, they are. We have the main guest. Well, we actually so. have two that we need to return one. And <laughs> the, <laughs> the stage will be up. Hippity-hoppity. I was up last time. Yep. Yes, I was. Yep. Yeah, that's okay. 
Actually, the gave us the snow is gone, so we can the hide. The bunny can yeah. dance up oh, there if he wants to. Tell um, kids to wear their Wellingtons. Can do I got dance on the stage. Some silverware and napkins. Yep, Somebody donated. donated. Stuff, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, and we yeah. still have Thank you, totes of stuff upstairs. Yeah, the Paper decorations and, and stuff are decorations. And yeah, pretty okay. good. We you don't need a balloon so arch, though, right? Should Google Drive. drive. Um, okay. Well, we already run. <laughs> That's going to come pre-blown up, right? No. Nope. <laughs> You're all going to be there. That's the one. The Seven one the morning. Is the damn helium thing. <laughs> oh, no, we don't need helium. Do we have a little air pump. You guys did it with the great cheese. You got me to donate a Walmart. Helium tank. We didn't do helium, right? It was just air. We can totally do helium. Good for you. <laughs> I absolutely got the two tanks to do the in. graduation. We don't need these to I'm, I'm not. Huh? I just did a couple with the pump, and I was like, I'm not doing. Oh yeah, that took forever. Like, oh. Mike is pump. like, my hands hurt. My hands hurt too. <laughs> <laughs> that took it was forever. Just a little machine, you <laughs> press the. Yeah. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but okay. tying them. Yeah, our fingers were getting raw. <laughs> what else do you need? Um. I need to, well, I need to talk to Nancy again yep. about sausage. I'm looking for bacon. Oof. If anyone knows of anyone who could donate. It's like $8 a package right now. And we, we didn't have it last year, right? For me. Don't worry. <laughs> you just tell me. I don't think we had bacon last year. We don't need it, right? No. I know. Do you think we need it? That's no, I don't not. know, but I just ordered 200 pounds of sausage. You don't think I've got to have Gideon cut some bacon out of the pig? Okay. I know. Oh, Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> no bacon. No bacon. So okay. expensive. Not possible. We just did sausage last year. We didn't do bacon. Yeah. We did Perfect. sausage, okay. eggs, pancakes, and fruit. Yeah. Great. Perfect. Done. Um, Great. So what Johnny are you and Anna are cooking? They're bringing yes. chafing dishes. Sarah's coming to. Sarah's coming to help again. And I will cook the meat meeting. outside because it's easier for them to clean inside if we do the meat on the grill. Mm -hmm. So who collects the the fruit? Does the fruit and all of that? Is that being done? Yeah, where's the fruit coming from? I got it with the gift cards last year. Oh. We I know. This is like, I feel as though we're not getting as many donations as last year. I feel like last year we had like we still 500 have, stuffed eggs. Which is the reason why we have to be sustainable, because we can't rely on donations. We still have two bikes <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> oh, wow. Bikes. Yeah. I know. We haven't had any Molly. prizes donated. You have to ask. Yeah, we got to really start putting that out there. Everywhere. I put it on Facebook. Paradise Once. Machine is Twice. happy to donate another scooter. See, I didn't even Twice. see the second That's time. Fine. Are you doing like toy giveaways at Extravaganza? Yeah. You have to find a special egg. Uh, about six, six of them. How six many toys left? Or special? Prizes? How many special eggs? Six, I think, were, right? Three per age. Three per age group. But we had like a lot of donations last year, like small and large. So we did like prizes for all the games. Like you still have the bikes, skip it, right? Solo. I think we yeah, still have two bikes. I think there's two, two bikes. bikes. A boys and a girls bikes, and the yeah. bikes were a big hit yeah. last year. Yes. Yeah. Right. I mean, do you have a prize as here's this one scooter and everybody else gets a thing of bubbles? No, they got to pick. There's a one, two, and a three. So <clears> there, if you get the, one, you pick first. Um, Believe it or not, though, if you watch the video, a lot of kids started going for like the stuff on the table, yeah. not even the, the bikes. They might buy the bikes and scooters. <laughs> like the. Yeah. That you okay. jump ropes yeah. There to was it. that okay. one moment where the kid who had never had a bike before yeah. just like yes. got a bike. That was, <gasps> that was awesome. Oh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that's why we do it. Yeah. My mom yeah. was crying. It's great. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So right, I'm so. not here physically that weekend. So if you want me to do some sort of outdoorsy toy like gift thing for you, I can do that. Why don't you just send me a message and tell me what you want? <clears throat> She's what you not really, really want. I know. I'll send you a message. I'll, I'll send you a more. message. What can you get? Right. What do you think? No one was really like popular like last year. Basket. That's yeah. what I think is the. But that's the stuff that I don't know if the kids get that same stuff at home. It's like the jump rope, the hula hoop, the chop. Yeah. The bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. They like that. They break yeah. it Perfect. the second they get it at home. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so an extra yeah. one's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of the kids like the little things that strapped up, like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you throw the ball. Yeah, the tennis ball tennis sticks. Ball, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the sticks, yeah, I love those. That was a big hit. But I think last year it was, you know, you had a couple of big bikes, like this big prize, like the scooters and bikes, but you did have some mm -hmm. small ones on the table that you were the golden eggs. almost more popular than, yeah, we yeah, had, than what, the big ones. So. Four that we gave away for the winners of each game, the hula hoop. No, you gave away in a crack awesome. an egg on a selectman, too. That was... Oh, awesome. that is awesome. feature. Oh, no, it would never come out. <laughs> it would never come out. It's really good for your 
scramble it. It is. I did. I did hear that. Yeah. <laughs> so well, they could do your we'll scramble it first. Don't worry. It's, it's your uh, christening the new select one. Uh, right. <laughs> What are the that changes? just yeah, became a thing. Oh. No, no, no. Every new selectman gets the egg cracked under Easter. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a thing. Yeah, I'm not going to go give that. Yeah, I'm sure you can use the <laughs> If well, not, but I'm putting on a shower cap first. Is it inside? Yeah, it's inside. Will yeah. you make sure you bring your key? Can you get in that door? I don't even know. Yes, she can. So that we can get the hula hoops. Okay, so it sounds like extravaganza is moving along. There you go. <laughs> Where are the hula hoops? All right, trivia night. So, <laughs> wait, like, extravaganza. Oh, <laughs> Heidi is working on um, filling out the letters and whatnot to drop off at the grocery stores to get some money so that Courtney can then buy the fruit. Yes. Yes? So, Great. Walmart will use use the money for gifts and get one at Market Basket. I'm sure they'd love to step into the game. They're a longer yeah. process. So, right. you can so drop Hannaford. off with them now. Hannaford's only $25. But if you start, well, got, like, start with Market we'll Basket so now, though, if they're a three-month process, start with them now. So for they summer will rec, always, something. that's yeah. one of the things that they do. So this, They will give back. So this letter, so I should be, should I make it out to Hannaford, to Walmart, or should I just make it generic? And then we'll just, just print Just make it generic. Okay. That we have it in. It'll be yeah. in there. We can just grab it. Yes. Right. Well, we would like so they can write it in because the Walmart wants they have to submit one it. that's specific. Yeah. We're seeking donations for our Easter event or spring right. Easter or whatever. Right. We could edit okay. it, copy it every time. Yeah. And if, if you, you get put it in the drive with the letter now, now, like, 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 Rec camp thing or something, then yeah. you'll have it by the time you need it. Yeah. But I'm probably going to have to use some gift cards for stuff decks too. Trivia night was awesome. Didn't you already Thank you, Sherry. Awesome. We got some. That was we had like six hundred so bucks. Sherry, and kids. Some kids still only got like three eggs. Yeah, there were a lot of kids. Yes. We a had like six hundred eggs last year. How many do you have? Fifty. Maybe twenty-four. Five. Yeah, I've got like ten. Uh, <laughs> I've got like eight. It's gonna turn into the whole game. I just got three hundred eggs. How bad do you want these eggs, kids? Because they're all gonna. How many did I order? Uh, that's like easy. Twenty eggs, right? These kids. Give them smaller baskets. That's <laughs> what give them. I they fill up right. the 10 <laughs> eggs. Okay. No, they bring their own. They bring That's like, right. <laughs> they're looking at eggs. Sorry. I oh need to be excited about it. <laughs> Heather, I'm doing eggs with my nieces and nephews this weekend, and I'll try to get all of the actual eggs back from them, and they can just keep right their candy, there. and then I can give you 300 eggs. Yes. Okay. Did we, we didn't save any from last year? Two. Or the kids just took off. They, I don't know. So they paid to them, yeah. We saved 200. a couple, but it was like a dozen. I might have a small bag still somewhere from there. 200. Oh, and we got four. Andrew Reverend's making one TV eggs. Yeah. Here's how it's like. Excuse course. me, we're clicking. Okay, what, it's know. usually those eggs that are eggs. Those are eggs? Yeah, yeah. set up like a little barrel. Oh. Yeah, see, 20. And we put it in a trash bag. Egg return program. Egg return. That's only 100. We have 300. Every time you deposit an egg, you get a chocolate. For a dollar, write that down. For 50 of them, I can egg return the same thing again. Write that down. Seriously, egg return program. Somebody. Yeah, she just does it over again. Well, I feel like we need some with like candy in it too. Yeah, we do. That's why I like ordered those ones because it has not candy. Walmart sells ones with candy in them. Yeah. Yeah. I got because I just did it before I came here, so I did 300 eggs and 450 pieces of candy. And I think I was at like thirty-seven dollars. Yeah, it wasn't bad. No, I almost got them pre-filled because it would have made my life easier. But the price difference was yeah crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and a lot of times that's the we got both. Too. We got some that were pre-filled, I think, and some the ones I have, and some that I have to stop. Well, if that's something <laughs> we need to get on top of now, we can grab the credit card and go to Walmart and get the stuff to do the eggs and get it over with. It's only thirty-seven dollars worth of stuff. I'll bring you three hundred eggs on Monday. I'll take them back from all of the kids on Sunday. They don't need the eggs. Candy too. Like, take the, the candy too. Put it down. Put it down. They're right. not gonna Give want me that back. Fine. They're all teenagers. They're all. Okay. Do we need anything else then? Sounds like we're, we got no. eggs I'll coming from help. everywhere. Okay. Table class, You got all that stuff still? Upstairs. Okay. Um. There's. We didn't do those away. Pretty sure we did. Uh, we can. So tablecloths. We'll have to get. Yeah, because I really feel like we threw those away. We need to go upstairs. To figure out what you have. Yeah. We'll, we'll do that. And then right any now. games or anything? Oh, we're done. Other than the hula hoops? Anything you need for games? We use the eggs. 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 Just did the egg, egg toss and the spoon race. Yes. Yeah. And Todd's doing the eggs. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. He knows we need more than we'd had last year because we ended up having to go get extra. Really? Maybe we should just use less eggs. No, <laughs> well, we, we ate them. Yeah. My chickens like eggs. We cooked eggs. a bunch. We cooked a bunch and then we made some, some for games. And we ran they, out while we were cooking, right so we didn't have any for the games. Oh, why don't you bring your eggs for games? Jeez. I can. My chickens lay eggs. No, sir. I can even Do bring it? some of the duck <laughs> eggs. Whoa, the duck eggs? The duck eggs. Gold. Yeah. They should do that over the selectman's head. Yep. Yes. <laughs> All right. Sure, he's like, I'm going to show you how All right. So everybody has their jobs for extravaganza. You feel good about that? Yeah, I'll, I'll ask for help. I'll text you guys. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Individually. Moving on. All right, moving on. <laughs> trivia night. We had a good trivia night. We had the right. most people that ever showed. Yes. Really? Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. Five, awesome. Teams? five teams? There was five oh, teams? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Think? One. Was that first table? Though. Was that yeah. one big team? Yeah. Uh, okay. And then Mandy. There was four. But there was a couple yeah. big teams. But there was yeah. big teams. Eight teams. And right. I really feel like that's fine. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> but I think it would be more fun if they, like, if it was, like, four. More. Captain yeah. four. Yeah, like, yeah. four, four, yeah. Four on a team. Yeah. But and did we charge for that one, right? It was by donation. <clears throat> it was and I by just donation. donated no. um, $48. We got $48? Yeah. I just donated it yesterday. I told Chelsea to keep that $2 bill. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, When's the next trivia night? <laughs> no. I know where you were going. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I keep missing them. April. Yes, we we need to keep this up because people are loving it. They're addicted. How about the twelfth? No, that's Moana opening night. Oh, yeah, don't do oh, that. No, no, either. Either. I am. I'm so right. ready for it. It's on my calendar. Right. My kid doesn't go to school anymore. I know. I should play, play day. day. It's play day. How about the nineteenth of April? We're going off. We're going into April. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with the fifth? About the fifth. Like the fifth. Yeah, so everybody liked to do it. Yeah, do it before yeah, Easter yeah. and stuff. Okay. Oh, no, wait, that's yeah. Is that going to be team night? Your first Friday team night? Or? Oh. No. No? I'm not ready for... We don't have a team night plan. Okay. In three weeks. Yeah, we that's can do nice. the fifth. Okay. For trivia? Yeah. Okay. You should come sometime, Holly. It's it is so fun. much fun. Count, it's really fun and it's funny. As long and as Joy stays off the Star Wars questions, we're good. I know those were hard when, questions. When is Joy oh my! Not come? <laughs> she was on a team last week. I, I did to, the questions. I found yep. to play. It was so much fun. How was it? That, how was it? With it was Sherry doing the questions. It was rough. They were hard on her. But that's but they are but you all give me crap about Star Wars like that's that's the hard part about being the trivia person yeah you were like with questions wait, but she was like pacing this like, yeah and we did have to look up in advance and there are only ten states that border the Mississippi not thirty one. <laughs> Joy, <laughs> re, she re googled the answer. <laughs> hey, I went home. Like, wait, wait, wait. Did her research. I, I got I got point. these off of Google. <laughs> Uh, but yes, you, you get crap for being a trivia master, right? That's yeah. what we said. That's part of the, that's part of the trap department. I had some good questions. I did questions, trivia once, like, I and I only knew big. one question. So they funny. were all like sports things I couldn't answer. Anything. They, they kept asking me over and over to repeat the question. Yeah. <laughs> well, you weren't ever you were near too our table, quick. okay? You need a microphone. I'm on a chatty table sometimes. Well, a microphone you would be good. Surprise, surprise. Like, surprise. <laughs> karaoke machine? Yeah, karaoke machine. That is our. That is another event. Okay. I have for me and I, I have like a little karaoke get, machine thing. So Although the Nicole said the Nicole. acoustics aren't so good in there. Do you want to ask her? Yeah, I'll ask her. We'll try. So you're going to ask Nicole about so it. Do you you ask her? She's like, not here. Uh huh. Did she talk to you that night? Did I asked her if she heard from you. And she said no? I sent her a message. Okay. She's not, she doesn't always answer those right okay. away. Mm. Um, who do, uh, Carl did offer to read questions, to do questions oh, sometimes. Okay. Cool. So, so, yeah, I feel like we need them. to break that group up. I feel like they win every time. <laughs> they do win every time. <laughs> Somebody, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're very smart. <laughs> okay. Did, is he going to create the questions, too? Yeah. Oh, he wow. is a teacher. He was a teacher. I'm probably not going to do that. I don't want to teach you questions. All right, what, you, what is extravaganza again? I need to ask questions. What time? He's probably too smart. I'm going to ask him to give us multiple choice. 9.30 to 11.30? No, it's 9 to 11, right? What? 
Extra, extravaganza? Oh, please. I'm pretty sure it's... What are you doing now? 9.30. <laughs> I think she said 10 because she wasn't out of bed yet. When right. people show up at 9, they just put to work as well. So what day is that? The 30th. Saturday the 30th. 30th, yes. Listen to us. 9.30 to 11.30. Okay. It is 9.30. 9 to 11.30. For other people. I wanted it at 7, but you know. Volunteers get you. Okay. I know. You're still in your beat. Okay, right, so we get the 5th for trivia. You have I'll ask Nicole and Carl. Can't have those at the school. <laughs> Um, did you? Oh, I would. I I feel like we need to. They have really been very generous in allowing us to use their space. Yes. Making pizza. Pe- Last time they made yes three or four pizzas. Tons of pizza. They make popcorn. Yeah. They really yeah. go all out, and um, I, I would like to do this. something nice for them. Yeah. Like whether it be a a basket of some sort with some. Alcohol or <laughs> yeah, if can the rest do a, do if that? we could do a monetary donation, I think that is what they would appreciate the most. I don't but we already I get a donation. Money. Yeah, we do. do you we pay for the space? no, they don't charge us for the space. Right. Okay. 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 To the liquor store. <laughs> 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 Visa? Visa gift card? Or like a restaurant? We could just write out a donation bucket that's for that space. Yes. Oh, that's good. I like that. Let them keep the donations. Yes. That's what I would. Okay. Or we really push for the, no, push, but really encourage donations. And if it's. If Nicole wanted to get more money out of it too, then she would have the pizza and the soup and everything ready to sell too. So there's. Yeah, that, but yes. Okay. To, to offer to advertise we, we selling the food and right. have her make something specific and say we're going to sell barbecue chicken pizza this night for Correct. two dollars. Like a slice. I love yep. the concept of the idea of the potluck thing, but I think that it's a great, great way for them to make some money. Yeah, if if she's up I'll to see doing if she'll want to do it. A long day. Yeah. yeah. I think she, she just kind of likes pizza. to do. She has. Yes, yeah, she's been donating her pizzas. Right. Donate. Yeah. So Honestly, that's yeah. a great advertising thing, though. Like for her, yep. she just started doing the pizza. So yeah. we can also offer to start paying for the space. Yep. We yes. could. Yep. It's it's. I'm it's gonna, not I'm much gonna, at all what yeah. she. Has I'm gonna to run it by her. Yep. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, Period. Well, what? Uh, programs. Oh. Pickleball. Heather, pickleball. Oh. So pickleball's dying a slow death, but oh, no. I had to vent to Adam the other day. Oh no! So he's heard it. I think, I think we just need to do it as a pickup. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. some point, yeah. and because nobody wants to run like we ran the open gym, nobody seems to be up for doing that a certain day of the week, every week or whatever. So I think we just need to do a pickup pickleball and have a net set up and let people come in and play at will and go from there. So we would be booking the gym, but not being there to supervise? No, no, no. One of us yeah. would have okay, to be okay. there. That's the thing. We can't find a volunteer to do what like we do. Like instructor or something. Oh, okay. So well, one of somebody... us would just have to pick a day that we're willing to sit there and open the door or okay. play pickleball if that's what you're into. I haven't tried it yet, but... Yeah, what, you don't know how to play it, then you can't... <clears throat> I think it's That's a fine. good start yeah. to yeah, get it going. And then as the people get invested, yeah. like maybe we could pay somebody to run a program. We yeah. can volunteer like, them to do it. Yeah. Well, not we. Like, yeah. like if yeah. you're going there, you pay, pay, pay to play. Yeah. I think that's what other places do. Yeah. I think we just need to open the door to yes, people to come in and play one time and talk to everybody that likes that. to do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Creative. Yeah. Just open it up, get people doing it. Do we it, have the stuff for it yet? Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 the, the, yeah. like, yeah. Maybe we should test it out some Friday night. What are you guys doing? On a weekend or something? Wouldn't you think like a weekend? Pick out pick ball. Afternoon. Morning, something. We're going to test out the equipment. Tomorrow night. Oh. If the gym's available. <laughs> Do you have the equipment? Yep. Yep. You've been holding out on us. Guys, because I'm ready to return it, because I hadn't heard anything. So I was okay. like, Let's either this is going to work. Calm Just Do calm it. down. We got you. Or. Yeah. Okay. 
18 nights. <clears throat> Let's see when we can get those crazy I little... Have two <coughs> more things after that. I don't know if she put them on the agenda. Um, the so, Tina, if we're going to do trivia on about. the 5th and Moana's on the 12th, do we want to just shoot for the 19th? That is... Yeah, that's the week before vacation. So. I am available sure, on the 19th. Is. What is it? Can't There's something. Friday. Correct. Okay. When the uh, talent show is, isn't it? Well, there's a talent show too. There's a talent show too. She just no, that's May. Yep, she did. Is Four, that the I Camus dance night? That's oh. May something, I think. Isn't it? It's oh, I got it. You're right. It first. May second. <laughs> Six p.m. I think I don't know. So then the nineteenth, because the stage will be down by that point. I know that the middle school is May doing second. a dance night. Yeah, a I just don't know if it's that night. Talent. Yes, mm. it would be down by that. Nineteen? Yeah. Can I high school? Can I high school? Can I dance? Can I school Middle school. school. Can I school dance? Can I school dance? Mm. And six to eight. It's not on the calendar. Okay. Six to eight. Six to eight. Yes. Teen nights. So what day did you guys pick? No, was it the nineteenth? April nineteenth. It was the Friday, the nineteenth. Feel like, yeah. Well, that's a maybe because we might the middle school might have a something. thing. So let's oh. like oh. tentatively plan for that. Okay. Nineteenth, <coughs> maybe. I don't. What do we want to do for this one? So the kids gave me some ideas. Um, I think that we decided that two hours is a great amount of time, and to have something that's organized is wise. Because yeah, that's what we've been we doing. Started, yeah, that's what that's. Yeah, the first what one of three hours. Was Courtney said long. so. Like it once they once they started to scatter, we were like, oh god, we're losing them, and then we're losing them fast. But then one of the kids said, why don't we play? I think it was like fishy, fishy or something. Yeah. And they just they had a blast into town, running around like maniacs, but it was organized. <laughs> so they mentioned um, things that they would like to do: floor hockey, which. It's great. You'll love it. I know it's. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> mm, you should have seen these kids with the dodgeballs. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of them, I feel like, that have showed up to our um, open gym, and it's awesome. There's a, the, and then they all mentioned the various tags, Pac-Man tags, statue, fishy, yep. fishy. Like they, they, love, they love that stuff. Yep. Manhunt slash flashlight tag. Yep. They were all pumped about that idea. <laughs> of course they are. That could be fun. Um, I'm going to get glow in the dark. Glow, like glow a kickball game. Um, I think kickball would be fun. Flag. Kickball could be fun, and then if we could do a field trip for laser tag, they liked that idea as well. I was going to get uh, Capture the Flag Glow in the Dark style. Yes. Have so like a race. They would love YouTube. it. No. Do you know where it is? No. It's not broken somewhere? Nope. I'm just saying we have it. I so say for, it for <laughs> April, we could potentially get them on the field, potentially, because the sun will still yeah. be up and there's lights and it will... Hopefully be dry this year. Yeah. So we could do whether it was a flashlight tag, manhunt, glow mm -hmm. in the dark thing, or kickball. Call oh, glow in the dark kickball. <laughs> and like hot dogs. For like something. dangerous Friday night Frank. lights. There's no lights on that field. Friday Is there night, a grill? No if I bring hot dog <laughs> stuff, can you give me a, provide me with a grill at the field? There's one in the back of that shed. Of what kind of shape it's in, I don't know, but we will. Okay. One way or the other, you'll have a girl, whether it's mine or that one. Well, <laughs> I know, I was like, we could just bring my yeah, girl too, but it's fine. Okay. I have a small Weber girl. We also can talk to Old Home Inc. because they have a flat top in the top shed that I know is in decent shape. So we could do hot dogs and something outside for them for April, mm -hmm. if you like that idea. And if it's raining? I just worry. Then we'll go inside and we can still do hot dogs and... Yeah, something. Okay. So still get the facilities used for the gym, but if it's not raining, plan on being at the field. We could okay. still do it. Like, oh, could we do a kickball thing in the gym or no? Yeah, Probably we could not. play kickball in the gym. Yeah, I love the, playing kickball in the gym. Is the thing up with the bigger the kids? No. They, 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 they'd be kicking it okay. off the walls, no problem. I would. It'd be, it'd be fun. Oh, watch. It would be handball. The You set up the T ball. Oh, yeah. And then you take. Oh, yeah. yeah. So funny. Slap ball. If you're indoors, that's your plan. Are they in the blitz ball yet? <clears throat> that wasn't Middle mentioned. But just certain children. Yeah, it's blitz ball. Another thought, too, is we could do a movie night. 
Yep. With the projector and like get popcorn and yep. like a candy. And another uh, thing we could do is candy bar bingo. Speaking of which, Anna yeah. Gross has a giant mm -hmm. blow up screen. Oh, that's fun. That she uh, from Camp wanted Camp. to get something going with, mm -hmm. so she may be willing to help with. I think that's a great idea. We're talking, about, fantastic. we're talking about like a drive in. Yep. Like, Love it. Yeah. So, Thank you, yes, movie please. night. <laughs> Bring your own Which they be basket, like super in. chatty, probably still and stuff, but it would be it could be full. Yeah, like bring your own little like setup, camping chair, whatever. Movie night and what was the other thing you just said? Um, oh, candy bar bingo. Okay. Oh, so movie night probably idea. not April. Oh. Probably a little cold and still. Mm -hmm. no, I, yeah, I like the, the idea of trying to get them. I was thinking we do it in the gym. Me too. For now, yeah, for like. Yeah. For an April one, like or popcorn, popcorn and candy. What? Alright, the gym much. option. And Holly, right. how? What would that look like in terms of AV equipment in the gym? Would so we need so you so there to help us set it up? Not need me there. It's just an LCD. I don't know. I'll look. Oh, he needs a computer. I still think he needs. That's what we did last for summer camp. And I, I on the donut night. I bought so many donuts and they, they were demolished. Yeah. Yeah, I took a that yeah. that I was literally at. I, at I was like, "There's going to be extra jelly ones." The kids don't like you know, the jelly we had, ones. We had you get almost thirty kids. <laughs> like we, they were demolished. You buy I thought they don't like. We had a lot of kids. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think it was the six okay. to eight. It was the changing. I really think it was the changing of the, the age. Like yeah. it's, it was the six to eight kids that want to come and hang out. Yeah, yep, true. Not the seven to twelve. So, I sent that to you after six o'clock. Right, so, so Sherry and I will figure out whether or not there is a dance. Sherry will figure out whether or not there's the dance on the 19th. And then we will we'll go from there. Um, but if we do something for the next one that involves... What about a dance for them? No. Holly. She's so decisive. I love this. No. 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 They'll separate. They'll still, yeah, they'll be, and then they'll be like, can we have our phones now? Well, the lights will have to be on, too. Yeah, no. 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 Did you see people on their phones yeah. on this one? You're I gonna have to get they it. did pretty you know, well. Nope. They did an excellent <laughs> job. And they do Zumba classes. They did Until you go into the bathroom job. and then you have to shoot No, no. no they were even so, have to do so, that. so good. It's well, the brief time that I was there. Yes, yes. There was three in particular that just needed a reminder and they were perfectly there fine you. with putting their phones away. Can you just have a basket and you put it in there? I know. They just didn't, like, some I've of the parents, to, they didn't even let the kids bring them. Yeah, I've tried to encourage when I post the teen nights, like, this is, like, a be present, yeah. you know, like. So it was great. I mean, we had 30 teenagers, no cell phones, for two hours throwing balls at each other, and everybody had a blast. That's how summer came. You get harder balls. Yeah. <laughs> I Sugar them up. More. We had one child yeah, that like built a fort in the corner and hid behind it the majority of the time. But yeah. he still had a great time. Dodgeballs. Um, yeah, oh, there's that. Okay, so we'll do that, Sherry. Yeah. Is that right? Fuck these are ideas. All right. Um, and then <clears throat> I don't know how Teen Night is going to look for the summer, though. To be honest. So I feel like we need it during the school year. The summer yeah. is probably safe. Mm -hmm. I would love. I've wanted for um, a couple of years um, to be doing like some kind of outdoor gym on Burke Field. Like be that having be, pickup games of be family fun. softball pick and kickball. Or yeah, yeah. I mean, if I think, and I do like think that. that even if it was a teen kickball at the field type of thing on like a Wednesday or Thursday, I'd be willing to bet that a decent amount of them would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would look forward to it and show up. I just don't know that you need it like all the time. Right, right. right. Try to do outdoor like you did it on, like, a things and see who wants to. I mean, I'll be down to supervise. I think if the kids are family all pickup summer, games, the parents will be driving them up to Burke Field and kicking them out of the car. It would have to be on the break. Yeah. No offense, kids. This is why I want you to take full time. And take the and the I just have a. A question coming in via text message. <laughs> I think this would be for Heidi. Oh, um, when do you want to start the snack shack? Um, John has gathered enough of the distributors to give us a very large donation to get you okay. guys started and well, see how it goes. We have to wait till games mm -hmm. come. So practices I have scheduled for April 13th. Yep. T-ball starts on the thir April 13th. 
softball starts starts <laughs> on <laughs> April 16th. So they'll probably start games when May. Early May yeah. yeah. So I think Wide open. we should put it out there to parents that would like to volunteer some time mm -hmm. to run the snack shack. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know about you guys, but we literally run ourselves so thin. I think it's going to be hard for us to. Yep. Well, parents can take a turn volunteering in the snack shack. That was. Oh, okay. I feel like that's what they do at Kennet. Parents come in and do it. In any yeah. sport that we've been a part of over the years, it was kind of a thing. Like if your kid was playing on the team, you. Yeah. You signed up for one yeah, one so. slot. Obviously, not everybody is going to be able to for various reasons, but once we get the schedule, we can make the schedule. Yeah, for yeah. let's let's mm -hmm. do that. So once we have the game schedule, mm -hmm. then we'll. So May is May. We'll the, probably start having. Do games you think in the May. beginning of May? Yeah. Okay. Beginning of May. Like two Do you think that they are, he is practice. offering right mm -hmm. now? No, no, no. He'll have them for whenever. Yep. I just okay. said the games will start beginning of May. Okay. So we'll take care of the roles for you guys if you decide to do hot dogs, and you're going to have hundreds of individually packaged snacks. And then if you go through all of them and you decide that you want more and to continue it that way, they'll give you a very large discount. John will just get them right from the distributor. Okay, so we need, just need hot dogs. You're going to so have to take care of hot dogs. Hot dogs, okay. And, and then grill. drinks. And drinks. So maybe old But I think that I, I have not reached out to like But we'd be selling them anyways. So. I'm sure as long as we keep it clean. I just need to talk to Mike. It's up there and it doesn't get used except for that Right, one. and you're still selling the okay. snacks. Too, but this offers you an easy a way to. It's a big so donation that we're giving to the rec committee, okay. so the rec committee can collect the money. Yeah, yeah, I've more. been notified by people at home periodically that we can't have multiple conversations going on at the same time. Sorry, sorry, it's been a, com been a complaint sorry, from everybody. the viewers. <laughs> so, so um, from now on, I want you guys to raise your hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do I have to separate you two? Maybe. <laughs> You're in trouble. Yep. Mom and Dad are in trouble. <laughs> yeah, no, and Dad are. <laughs> um, so on Sports Engine, we could probably put, oh, no, softball game on, blah, blah, yep. Anybody would like to volunteer for? No. Yep. I think um, I'll get a hold of Heidi. <coughs> we'll we do like a calendar schedule. type thing. Yep. Yeah. 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 And then I'll just have people and sign like up. Google, Google, Google sign up. Google yeah. sheet. Yeah, just a Google, Google sheet. Sign oh, Google. Up. Where do we okay. keep the food? Holly, is there any space at the... <laughs> you knew before you I was in the closet the other day, and there seemed to be some room on some of those shelves when I was tripping over you the mean, things on the floor. What closet? Because <laughs> they're supposed to be on the shelves. <laughs> <laughs> what closet are you talking about? I'm not sure we could probably do. You just can't put anything in the We can put it in the That's what I mean. We, we, we would just shed. need a... We would need a little area. There's a freezer in this shed. It only gets used once a year. So we're gonna put the sodas in the freezer. There's also a giant fridge in there. That is. Oh. Can we keep it? Put it on. I'm pretty sure it's been left on. Oh, okay. All right. I will check, but to the best of my knowledge, it never got cleaned out again. Okay. Yeah, but chips and like buns and stuff like that. I don't know if that's something. You just need that's to put them in a tote. Yeah. yeah, but buns yes. would probably the be buns. Yeah. Somebody no, needs to be in charge of giving me an hot. order <laughs> like weekly. for the following week. Yes. yes. Weekly. So, are you taking <coughs> snack shack on, Heidi? Yeah. Okay. Thank You're you. doing so good, Heidi. Well, Heidi, Thanks. you are getting it done. I'm kind of nervous, but <laughs> <laughs> you need to help me. <laughs> no, what we need to do is keep a form on our Google Drive of like what you need, and then a each sign week. Up sheet. Yeah. Yep. And we'll get you the rolls each week, but whatever you don't use, you can store right in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I mean, I I feel like it's really aggressive, aggressive to think that we're gonna have like hot dogs all the time and like even chips and brownies and things like that. Yeah, like at the basketball tournament. I think we had yeah. mentioned doing the hot dogs when it was like multi-game days or something. Mm -hmm. There was yeah. a reason it wasn't a every game. It was a like. Especially when we know that the older adult. Although I will say there's probably only one play. one home game a week. Right. That's what I usually. That's why I do with basketball. It was like usually one a week, one home, one away, one home, one away. So once a week, could we do hot dogs? I don't know. Is that still a lot? 
I, no, I, I'm just saying yeah, in general. Right. I think it might encourage more participation from the full families to come to these I softball do too. games. Because it's... They're serving dinner down there. Yes. Exactly. You could also, if we're going to do pickup nights, we could consider having somebody man it that mm -hmm. night. We don't have to do it constantly, but we could yeah. have the option. It's an option. All right, so... And then we don't have to really do the lap I'm gonna there there's there's nothing else. Fundraiser? One more thing. No. One more thing. Heather Heather needed I had one little thing. It was just a fundraiser. Oh not a little thing. <laughs> um so um I think I can say her name. <laughs> so Gretchen, I work with Gretchen Arnold and her friend Pam um does um really? Yeah. Sorry. And um she does little parties, like um, what kind, like theme parties, and so she was thinking it'd be fun to do a little fundraiser with us of a Mother's Day tea party. Oh, that's um, so cute! Yeah, and so she uh, let me see. Um, I had her write up a little description. Sure. So it'd be a mother daughter picnic. Uh, she would provide all the decor, lights, no, light food, <laughs> not lights, light food and sweets. Um, It would be, we're hoping to have it like in the gym, so we'll have to see the gym availability. Um, 12.30 to 2.30, so during the day. She was hoping to do May 5th, which is a Sunday, It'd be the week before Mother's Day. Um, uh, with Gretchen on sponsoring. Uh, so her picnic parties are called Pam's Luxury Picnics. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. No? Okay. And tables would be needed, but otherwise she would do everything else. Can I bring Hayden? Or? I was gonna say, does it have to be mother and daughter? No. Right. So we ha ha right. So no. Just no. okay. So we could do Mother's Day tea party. Yeah. Yeah. Bring whoever you want. Yep. Mother's Day tea party. Just not your husband. Okay. She's hoping May fifth. Right. No husbands. Um, maybe it's Pam Conger. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Love her. Well, you could yep. put mother daughter tea party, and then if. Someone wanted to bring their son. They could. Mother's Day. Because someone just, yeah, just Mumboro just, just did like their daughter dad dance. No, and I didn't. Uh, I didn't so okay, some of us that. only have right. sons and not daughters. I can dress so. He did not. Listen. He might not like that. No, but she didn't. usually like she sets it up so cute. I went to one of her little summer parties this summer, and it was um, wicked cute. You know, everything's decorated. You feel so special. I've seen pictures of it. Yeah. It's really cute. And then she gives, like, little finger foods. Nothing, you know, it's not a full course meal. Okay. But she makes it all herself. Um, and I think the point of this is to advertise for herself and get her name yeah. out there. It would be great for baby showers or no, I mean, parties or... Like our other fundraisers where um, people would pay her and then a a proceeds, to the, proceeds to the rack? Or? No, we were saying she'd like to... Be able to donate it back oh. to the right. Yeah. Okay. So like, what'd she say? Um, give you a chance. Uh, um, so you said Sunday the fifth. Yes. Um, she said as far as a donation, we probably need a purpose, and I said the rack would be the purpose. Um, but donate Sing some back mile. to the. Oh yeah, the, she said the rack, whatever. Well, some of us will be I having get tea, others will be having margaritas. So she would charge, so yes, she would charge, but she would give back to the rec. We should do sign-ups. Yes, and that's what she said. She'll need to know how many number, how many people. Okay. Like, yes. But is May 5th, I'll have to check with the school, too, to make sure that the gym's available. It's a Sunday, yeah. So, and what time? Ish. She said 12.30 to 2.30, okay. so like late lunch. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so you're on board. Gretchen will probably come help her. So it'll be like Gretchen and Pam. I love Gretchen. Yeah. So she would go into the school by like 9 to set up and like get it all ready. That's the other thing. I mean, really, <coughs> you wouldn't have to do a whole lot. Yeah. I, I would go help her, but. What are we saying by donation, do you think it'll be? She will charge. Mm -hmm. I'll have to find that out for her. But then she'll give the, you know, portion oh, of the gotcha. proceeds back to the rec. You're going to be up at 9 and ready to help? Mm -hmm. Maybe not ready, <laughs> but I'll be up. <clears throat> um, I might be my Courtney's day making me a camp. flyer for the banner fundraiser. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah. And then 
we'll get that out there and then I'll call I'm gonna call individual owners of these banners to see if they want to put them back up and if they don't I will come cut them down and roll them up and bring them to them okay oh when is the banner thing it doesn't really end we keep it open-ended for the mm -hmm. most part because snow science doesn't have yes. a minimum it would be those t-shirts yeah. uh, um, what was I saying banners Oh yeah, I keep it open ended all year. I mean, if you yeah. want to wait until July to pay the hundred and fifty and only get two <clears> months out of it, that's on you, kind of thing. But no, that's good. Who's sending out invoices to the current banner? I'm not no. sending out invoices. I'm just going to call them and say if you want me to leave it up, let me know and okay. make a check out to the town for a hundred bucks, and I'll leave it up. If not, I'll cut it down. Okay. And I, then merch fundraiser. Yes. It's up on the website. I placed yes. my first order. Yep. And um, <coughs> I'll wait for like a little chunk and then I'll send it away. You know what I mean? Great. So I'm not doing it right individually. So I'll have my sweatshirt next year. You're going to wait a little while. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, I just had another order that would come through. Oh, good. She's bringing me a check. So we just need one more order or? Yeah. Oh, actually, hey, that's can you I got the shirt. I'll do it. <laughs> I don't know if it's a public thing, but I want the beanie. I didn't know if, like, could purchase some. We should. For to just have? For the committee. Oh. As, like, an advertising. We can't make that decision for you. I think we should get some. your head for me? Just We should also think ahead to our department. That's rec department. We could think ahead for our coaches, too. It's both. It's like, right. I just feel like um, at some point, decision, though, right? we're going to want to be, like, at, at a place, you know, whether it's softball games, selling sweatshirts and hats, and, you know, so we should purchase some to sell. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah, I think so, too. And In where? Mm -hmm. But right. we have to. <clears throat> is it going to be just like it is now with the fundraiser, or are we talking about becoming a commercial enterprise? Oh. So that's a prestige. I think like, the zoning uh, ordinance. Sorry. Rex R S. And do my homework. Um, Joy, are you going to be at the next meeting? <laughs> I only if Ab's not there. <laughs> She's going to be texting us. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God, my phone just died. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love it would just be, I miss it you. would be fundraising. So whatever we make above and beyond what we paid for them goes into the rec revolving fund. But we'd be charging a fee, right? If we were saying we would have to come up. Yeah. We, well, we only sell four items, so it's not that hard to put together a fee schedule for that. Okay, yeah, I think I would still sure do, do it. it. Oh, yeah. How would we do that? We just do, like Adam said, just do a fee schedule. Just have the public hearings. So this is what we charge for the beanie, the cap, the sweatshirts. Okay. Yeah. And we wouldn't. Be really needing them until games, right? Right. So you have, but I'll put it on this order, I guess, is what I'm saying to order those extra things. Yeah. yeah. To okay. display. And then just send me what you want to put on the fee schedule, and I will have Linda post a public hearing for our before Easter. Yeah, I think it would probably be the same price because remember when we talked about that instant gratification thing, and it's one of the reasons why you should have a Venmo. Yes. It's the same thing. I, I will buy a hoodie almost anywhere I go. <laughs> it's a problem. It's a, it's, it's a problem. But right. if I'm at a game and I'm like, oh, I forgot to grab my sweatshirt. There's bugs. It's hot. It's raining. I'm right. one million percent going to go get that. Hoodie. Yeah. There was a thought of doing the square to the general fund and then doing a Venmo for the revolving fund. Yeah. Because the, rev, the square would be for fees and the Venmo would be for the donations kind of thing. You wouldn't it? have to do both. Okay. You do the square into it. It has to go into its own account, a complete separate bank account that it goes into for the square. And then when Jordan does her thing, mm -hmm. she will be able to see why it came in, mm -hmm. and then she'll take it from that account and put it where it needs to go. Yeah, so if so it came in as a donation, <laughs> it would go to the revolving fund, and if it came in as a fee, it would go to the general fund. Oh, okay. But Jordan would move it from that bank account to where it needed to go. Okay. But the, the square itself would only be attached to one bank account. That, that makes sense. That way it doesn't get... I think it's on the agenda up. for yeah. Tuesday, by the way. It is. I think we can do it. We just need to know who who we want to set up the account, whether it's you or Linda right. Kate or what Linda. email it's attached to. Did I right? I we need Jordan right? to open the account with Northway or Linda rather. But. And then, yeah, I actually want, oh yeah, do we need, um, 
We actually need to go into a non-public. You and need to more. grab the Mick bookie and figure out which one. I'm so confused. <laughs> the, the, the thing in July was that REC doesn't have non-publics anymore. That well, no, changed. We, we I, have was, to, I was not made aware. When we have gotten applications, so we've always done those non-public. We never said we were going to stop doing a non-public. We, if you want to review it and make a recommendation, it has to be non-public, and you're more than welcome to do that. I, I just the town administrator in July told me the rec doesn't have non-publics anymore. That she any hiring goes through. She said the that you have no reason to, but if this is your what you want your process to be, is to make a recommendation. Just understand that the board of selectmen has final say. That's it. Yeah, Joey. That was not my understanding. My understanding was there's the rec does not have non-publics anymore. So that was my understanding. But well, I I'm defer the chair to, now. I defer to. <laughs> but if it's personnel, we need to. Yes, we, if, if we want to talk about this application, whether or not we have authority to hire, we have to. Yeah, right. Yeah. And we need to grab a book, figure out which non-public it is, have a roll call vote, and then let the lady with the camera know whether or not we're going back into public. Okay. So. Um, before that, uh, PTO would like to do a dance with us. Oh, nice. Which like PTO they want us to, wants dance. to dance with me? <laughs> I think you know. <laughs> The one with the fancy accent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I danced with her husband last Sunday. She was good. like, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> that was not okay. a thing. Are you going to be able to do that? I don't know. Okay, I'm stressed. I know. We'll figure it out. We'll talk with Anna and figure it out. Okay. For this year. <laughs> yes, for this year. Okay, all right. Are we going into the <clears throat> back? Can we get order in the room? Are we going back into public session afterwards, or no. is this the end of the meeting? Okay. okay. We've discussed everything we needed to. So do we need to adjourn this meeting? No. We just need to go directly into non-public. This is the part I get confused. I need, like, a little post-it. What do I say? <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> just one quick thing about the committee things. I thought that last year, I'll have to go back and rewatch the meeting or check the minutes or something like that. I did not think that the rec committee was only reappointed for one year. And... It I don't think it was one year. So have to, have it to is one about. year. It's w until the select board changes it. Okay, I thought and we haven't changed it. We should change it, but we haven't changed it yet. Okay, sorry. Okay. So what do you? So think? this is my last day of being the chair. <laughs> <laughs> First and last. What a done. <laughs> non-public to. So okay. You will take a motion, motion. to I'll go into non-public four. I will take a motion to go into non-public four. This needs to be in the minutes. RSA 91-A 3-2, the hiring of any person as a public employee. B. Oh, B. Yeah. You can look at that after. Okay. Sure I'll make a motion. I'll second. All I'll in favor? Aye. Uh, roll call. Aye. Roll call. Oh, yeah. Megan, Meg aye. Megan Thompson. Aye. Aye. Courtney Price, aye. Joy Gray, aye. Hey Thomas, aye. Adam Price, aye. And Sherry. Sherry. Stackpole. Stackpole. Aye. So we are in no public.